Uh, morning guys. This is the uh, day after, so I'm just going to deconstruct this to see if there's any improvements I can make. Uh, so maybe it's a bit clearer now. Here's the uh, chimney, just there. The uh, so the chimney is what two two bricks high, vertical bricks high, and the firebox is uh, three fire bricks long um, and vertically oriented. So first off, let's uh, take away the cooking plate and chimney. If I take away this uh, fire rope. You can see there's a big gap here that I couldn't cover up easily due to the shape of this um, cooking plate. And uh, there's another gap here that you probably saw in the videos. I removed the cooking plate now and the chimney. So you can see that the fire was coming up from behind here and then traveling along here and then up the chimney here so that um, fire brick is uh, white so I guess any suit that was there would have been burnt by the intense fire so what I need to do is optimize this you can see how the plate was um, couldn't be sealed against the um, fire brick there Need a different shaped plate, I think. And the uh, chimney exit is quite small, maybe too small. Hmm, I'll have to figure out what the um, cross sectional area is of this uh, system. Now, the chimney is just. Um, a number of bricks that are stacked up to give it the right height and then form those um, bricks as an enclosure with the bricks covering the top of the riser removed you can see there's a little uh, step here which I had to uh, use that other brick to um, cover up Uh, let's take down this uh, chimney bit. Taking the uh, first layer of um, bricks off the uh, riser, and you can see that the uh, Venturi port is eccentrically placed in the riser. So this was to give the uh, single vortex, which was uh, an attempt to try and create more um, pull in the uh, fire and a faster exit out of the um, riser. If you have a um, centrally placed Venturi you get a uh, ram's, um, ram's horns uh, which is a dual vortex but then that gives, leads to more chaotic um, mixing and more oxygen consumption but also a slower exit out of the um, riser. So maybe that particular fire brick just doesn't like um, soot accumulating against it. So it looks quite clean in the uh, port. Anyway, let's take more um, bricks off. That's the uh, top of the fire chamber. You can see the suit trail. That's probably from the early burning uh, when the fire wasn't fully established. I've removed the bricks off the uh, fire chamber, or primary burn chamber, and uh, you can see they're quite clean. So the fire must have been pretty intense to burn with all the suit up there. It's mainly ash. There's a little bit of charcoal left, um, and there's a big gap there, so that's not very good. Probably um, 
fit in a bit of oxygen. Now we probably need to put in a, um, a secondary uh, oxygen feed here, just into the port there. I just used a couple of uh, fire bricks to um, form the opening uh, to the burn chamber. Again, you can see that uh, the insides are fairly white, indicating clean burn. But where the fire has come out, it's, uh, it's black from soot. So all in all, interesting, not built to any particular dimension, it's all basically uh, determined by the um, uh, brick sizes. Uh, thanks for watching.